right? So let's think about the stats retouching. But then you're confused as to what layer to create and what purpose those layers are going to be for and the amount of layers you need as well. Well, I'm here to bring you the good news. So the good news is you need just two layers, just two. Yeah. So to this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these two layers and then the functions these layers are going to perform for you when you're retouching your image, right? So if you're confused and then you don't know what to do, buckle up, take your stylus, your mouse, load your image up onto Photoshop and then join me as I show you how to create these two layers and then how to use them in Photoshop. My name is Akode Dia. Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and don't forget to like this video for more future updates. <laughs> like this. Let's jump right into the video and then start editing. So I have my image loaded up over here in Photoshop for us. So let me just zoom in and then let's examine our image. So we have some pimples on the face and stuff that we are going to clean in a bit. All right. So this is it. You know, so we have our first layer as a background. Whenever you load your image into Photoshop, it's going to come automatically as background layer. That's our first layer. Right, so let me just zoom in once again, and then I'm gonna create our first layer. So Control and then J to create our first layer like this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and then remove all these pimples on the face. At least we're gonna clean it up to get a clean background before we start anything else. Right, so that will be on our first layer as well. So we're gonna use these tools over here. We have the a spot healing brush tool and then we have the patch tool so in this image i'm going to start with a patch tool first so i'm going to zoom into our image or zoom to where the pimples are at and then i'm just going to circle and then drag it to a clean area like that a circle drag to a clean area to clean it up so you're going to repeat this to all the parts that we want to clean up so just circle and then drag this follow as I'm doing over here. This makes it very easy for you when you start the main retouching because you're not going to clean it again when you finish the site. All right. So I'm just going to speed this site up so that our video won't be too long. All right. So I actually downloaded this image online from Dirty Studios. So you can just check them out. They are on Instagram. You can just search that is to use and then you're going to have a lot of images over there. Then you can follow their link to their official sites and then you can download this image over there as well and then try. All right, so this is what we're having right now. Our image is looking much better compared to um, where we started. So this is the before and then this is the after, this is the before and then the after. Okay, so now we're going to rename this first layer to color. Alright, so what this layer is going to do is we're going to use this layer to edit or retouch the tones of the image. All right, yeah, so we're going to use it to balance the tones and then make sure everything is looking much smoother and much better. All right, so we're going to go ahead and then create our second layer. That will be our texture layer. So you're going to press Ctrl J and then we're going to rename this to texture. All right, so the, what the texture layer does is it's going to separate the textures from our image whereby we're going to be able to edit this pimples or this pores on her face separately so that's the main purpose of the texture layer and then as i said earlier the color layer is also going to focus on the tones of the image and then it will help us be able to even out the image and then keep the texture layers as well and then keep the textures of the image as well with the help of the texture layer so that's what we're going to do next right now so we're going to hide the texture layer select the color layer then we're going to come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, so automatically my Gaussian blur radius is set to 3.5. So you can choose to increase it. Mm, so this image I'm going to select, so I'm going to leave it at 4.3. And I'm going to select OK. Alright, so as you can see, there's some level of blurness in our image. And if you can see, let me zoom it a little bit more so you can see clearly. Let me. So this is what we're having. So this is the before and then this is the after. After we added the blur, the blurriness to it. So we're going to select the texture layer now. We're going to make it visible. 
then let me zoom out my image now we're going to come to image applied image then we're going to change this layer side drop down to color like this now we're going to keep the channel at rgb then we're going to change this the blending mode to subtract like this and then we're going to keep the opacity at 100 and then the skill we're going to change this or keep it at two and then the offset at 128 then as you can see there's this ghost image ghost effects happening on our image over here so now we're going to select okay now bear in mind this certain works best for 8-bit image yeah for 8-bit images so yes keep that in mind all right so now we're going to come to the blend mode over here with the texture layer still selected we're going to select click on the blend modes and then we're just going to change this to linear lights like this uh, as you can see our image is back to how it was before so these are the two layers that we're going to use to recharge our whole image all right so now we're going to just put this in a group hold shift and then press on both layers like that and then just control and then g to put it in a group so we're going to rename the group by double clicking on the name and then change this to frequency separation or fs i choose to just leave it at S fs as frequency separation if you want this action created automatically for you i have this in my online store the link is in the description box below so you can check it out and then just download this action it's going to play it for you automatically yeah without the stress of going through all these processes and stuff it's going to just create it directly for you so you can just start from where you're about to do now so you're just going to click on it it's going to play it for you then you just click or select the color layer then you just start and then just yeah starts retouching your image right so at this point you're going to select the mixer brush tool like this then with the color layer selected i'm going to use my stylus and then my wacom tablet to do this so you're going to maintain the settings you're going to keep this um brush you're going to select the soft round brush like this yeah, I have someone, uh, someone was asking me in my uh, previous video that uh, when it paints, it's, it doesn't, the effect doesn't, okay. That is because of this side. To so always make sure this one is set to clean brush like this. And then make sure this is unselected. This one is unselected. This is smudge. So you're going to smudge. So make sure this is unselected and make sure this is selected like this. And I'm going to set or keep this as custom. Then, Wet at 45%, load at 16%, mix at 31%, and then flow at 48%, depending on the image you're working on, right? So this, this, this changes, these ones are, are changeable. You can just change it as you're editing because maybe the effect is not happening the way you want it or something. So you can just change it. But then there's a shot that the effect is going to happen on your image, but just how intense or how not intense you want it, you're going to just adjust it over here. I think I'm talking too much. Let me just go directly and then edit. I'm sure you get what I mean. Yeah. So with the color layer selected, I just come here and then just start researching our image. So I'm just going to start brushing gently on a chain bone like that. Let me zoom in so you can see the effects happening on the image. So as I said, you're gonna you're gonna use the color layer to set the tones to edit the tones like I'm doing right here. So you're gonna just take your time, just brush them in like that. And mind you, always make sure you, you brush within the tones. Don't um, extend the brushing into another tone. Let's say this side, you're not gonna brush it into the highlights on it. On the on the bridge of her nose like if i'm to do this you see it has changed the image it has smudged into the highlights which we don't like we're going to keep the highlights we're going to keep the mid-tones and then the shadows all separately but then we're just blending them in gradually yes that's the whole idea so i'm just gonna keep brushing in like that Always make sure you take your time when you're doing this to get the best results.
All right, guys, I'm just gonna speed this side up. If you watch my videos often, you know how I do it, right? So I'm just gonna speed this side up. Just go and then just, just keep painting, keep brushing. Let's make sure you're maintaining the tones. You're blending them in, but then you're maintaining it at the same time to keep it natural as possible. So as you brush, you use the open and close brackets keys to increase or decrease the brush size as you're painting, depending on where you're painting. So you're gonna keep that in mind as well. You hold the space bar to bring up the hand tool and you drag it to where you want to zoom, you zoom in. All right, so this is what we're having. So let me just go ahead and then fine tune it once again. So we're going to zoom out like this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Then then increase the brush size like that. So it's going to blend it in like that. That's one of the things that a lot of retouchers don't do. A lot of beginner retouchers don't do. And then you have your colors mixed up and looking inconsistent. Mm, it doesn't make the image so appealing or so nice. So you're going to zoom out and in, zoom out to, um, zoom out to where you can see the, at least you can see a big portion of the image, right? Like I'm doing right now. And then you're just going to brush gently to blend them in and then make them look as uniform as possible. All right, so this is what we're having now. So we're going to move to our texture layer now. And then we're going to zoom into our image. So as you can see, the textures on our image over here. Yeah, so um, we did all our, our settings or all our retouching, main retouching on the color layer. As I said earlier, we need just two. And then we're now we're going to do our detail, detailed editing of the textures on the texture layer. So we're going to use the spot healing brush tool to do this so i'm gonna increase the size like this with a um, um open and close brackets key to increase or decrease the size and then we just we're just gonna increase it or decrease it to the size where it is covering just the pore or the parts or the texture you're trying to remove you don't have to overdo it or make it too big otherwise you're not gonna get a good effect so as you can see over here this let me just zoom in more the size of this pore is just about the size of the brush, right? So I'm just going to brush on it like this. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so that we can see more. Then you're just going to brush to remove any unwanted texture on our image. I know this seems like a lot, a lot of work, but it 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 really isn't that much of work. I'm just gonna remove just the visible pores, the ones that are kind of distracting, distracting to the image. You know, gonna make it look too fake. Because the more you do this, the more the image looks kind of fake and kind of plastic. So you're just gonna remove just the visible ones, not everything on the image. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain over here. If you do, then let me just speed up this side as well. So that's, yeah. I'm going to do a separate video, a long video, where I'm going to show you every detail. I'm, going to, I'm, not, I'm not going to speed up any side. I'm going to show you just a full, full tutorial on how I do it, right? I want to start streaming as well. So very soon I'm going to start streaming over here so that you can see my main editing process. All right, guys, so this is what we're having. This is what we're having. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. Let me zoom in a little bit more so that you can see the changes well. There's the before and then the after. 
Wow, so our image we just finished retouching our image with just two layers as you can see over here so thank you so much for watching if you learned anything from this video kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video as well for more videos like this in the future see you guys in the next one bye bye for now